Coming soon to the San Diego Zoo, two new exhibits that are currently under construction. Visitors will get an up close view of Komodo dragons, and there's also a treat in store for bird lovers. News 8's Heather Hope has a preview from the zoo. And we're getting a bird's eye view of the hummingbird habitat coming to the San Diego Zoo. This area behind me will be filled with water and large water lilies at about five feet wide. And about 40 birds will start to be in this area. Very popular area for the birds. Checking out the future home of the hummingbirds, the San Diego Zoo is building this 3,800 square foot aviary. There could be hummingbirds living on one side, and hummingbirds living on the other side, and there could be birds living in here, and then they can come and go over the top or through the holes. Filled with space for 14 species of birds from Central and South America in an enclosed greenhouse type setup that could hold 50 birds. Well, the public will be able to walk through. Um, there'll be benches. This birdhouse will have the works from wire panels for fresh air, electric blinds, and a green wall. They perch in those plants, but they also nest in those plants. Complete with a cenote themed pool that guests can view from an observation bridge. You know, we have a number of water features where birds can bathe. Also under construction right next door is the Komodo dragon habitat. It's actually the world's largest lizard species in the world. Soon, two large lizards will be here walking the ground, just like in Komodo Island, Indonesia. I'm 5'10", so she's a little bit longer than I am. They can live to be 40, 50, 60 years old. Equipped with an indoor and outdoor space with hot rocks and heated caves. We have a female here right now. She's waiting for her habitat and the male is coming, so we're getting really excited. And of course, uh, introductions for big adult Komodos is very sensitive, so we give them time to like meet each other, spend time together. Breeding usually takes place in our winter months, with eggs being laid in January, February. So we're hoping if they like each other and it all works out well, we might see some eggs this winter. And there's not a firm opening date just yet, but the goal is to have construction finished by Memorial Day and to open sometime soon after.